Welcome back to my channel. I don't often do tutorials on this channel where I'm following somebody else's video, but in this case, one of my friends on Instagram has put out a ink and wash pumpkin video, and I have a new waterproof ink that I've wanted to test out. And so I put it in a pen and I am going to have Madeline's video in one of my earbuds. I will hopefully have a link to it above, but if not, I will have a link to it in the description. And we're going to see how it goes. Ink and wash is not really my style. It's a style that I wish I was good at, but I haven't found a waterproof ink that I love. So this is a waterproof ink from Pilot. I don't actually remember the name. I will also leave the information to it below, but I got a sample of it from Wonder Pens. And I've put it in this Japanese Parker dupe from the 19, late 1950s, early 1960s when Parker pens couldn't be imported into Japan. So we're going to get into this. I'm going to press play and we're going to see how this goes. Okay, so we're embracing the wonky lines. I'm not getting them close enough. I have to fill in some of this empty space. doing All right, she got way ahead of me. Um. My page, I also think, is a bit wider, so I am gonna fill all the way out to the edge. Um. Then there was a little line tucked that's going to come up here. Okay. 
so I have realized that I don't know how long this ink takes to dry. So I just like put a little bit down on this paper and oh, almost instantly. Cool. Let's press play. All right, she moved way faster than I am. Um, so let's add our little brimstones. Probably should have chosen a smaller size brush for this.
Oh, it's super cute. So we are all dry and I really like it. I think I'm gonna have to do some more of Madeline's ink and wash tutorials because they are a lot of fun. I did add a couple extra pumpkins just because I think I was doing mine smaller or my page might have been wider. Um, I really like them though. There might be more pieces coming. Because I do like ink and wash in theory, I'm just not confident doing it. And I'm also going to need to pick up a bottle of this Sailor ink. It is the... this Sailor ink. And it's really great. It dried almost instantly on paper. Whereas I've heard that the Platinum Carbon Black sometimes doesn't dry very quickly on cotton paper because most of the time I'm working on cotton paper, I wanted something that I could put in pens and dry as soon as it went down. So I'm really happy with this paper. I hope you enjoyed watching this slightly different video and let me know what you want to see next time.